Do I really need to mention that this is extremely dangerous? Don't do this. Hey, so look at this. I got a call to go pick up a 250 gallon propane tank weighing 450 pounds. When I got there, it was a 500 gallon propane tank weighing 950 pounds. Watch me take it off the truck all by myself. We'll start with how we got it onto the truck. It was just sitting out in a field, not bolted down or anything. We used my lift gate to jack it up and put it on blocks of tree stumps and big heavy timbers. Slowly but surely, we jacked up one side then the other and raised it up a little bit more and a little bit more. And then uh, we dragged it into the truck bed with a come along. We put a couple of wooden sleds underneath the feet so they didn't dig into my bed liner. And uh, it took us about two and a half hours, and uh, it was not easy, but we got it done. Now the first thing we're going to have to do is put casters on it. And the way I'm going to do that is halfway in there, I have blocked it up with a wooden block, and I'm going to lower the, the tailgate down and install casters on these two feet. There's already holes drilled in them. So this thing is 10 feet long. I've marked a mark at 5 feet, and what I want to do is I want to drag the 5 foot area out to the edge of the back of the bed. Then I'm going to precariously balance it and tip the front end up so I can put casters on it. I'm going to go a little bit farther and leave the casters on the lift gate and then lower the lift gate. The balance is going to be perfect to get the other end off and install casters on it. Now very slowly I'm going to lower the lift gate. There it is. It's still on the lift gate and the back end is off the bed. Now I can install the casters on the back and then we'll lift it back up and get the block out of there. Now you see, I feel perfectly safe here because the thing is trying to fall off the end and it can't because I have that wood block in there. Now for anybody that wants to get on me about safety, what I just did if the worst thing in the world that could have possibly ever happened had happened, the thing would have fallen that way and I'd have been completely in the clear. Okay, now we're going to raise this up and get it level again. Then we're going to attach a come along to the inside of the bed and slowly wheel it out. Okay, now what I'm going to do is slowly raise the gate and it's on, since it's on casters in the, in the bed now, that should push it back. But just to make sure, I've made wheel chocks and clamped them to the tailgate. All right, it's back up. It's, it's back in the bed. Now, I'm gonna tie a come along to the inside of the bed and lower this back down and allow it to slowly roll down out of the truck. Okay, so I tightened up the come along so tight that it pulled the thing back a little bit. I think that's tight enough. Now I'm going to back this into where I'm going to offload it.
Okay, now I'm going to lower the gate until it's resting on the uh, tension of the come along, and then I'm going to pay out cable from the come along to allow it to drop off the back of the bed. So here's what I'm doing. I'm going in there, paying out three or four clicks on the come along ratchet, then giving it, giving it a shove because it's, it's wanting to fall out. And I just don't want it to fall out and run into the camera. Now I'm going to gradually roll those two wheels that are on the concrete into the shop and raise the lift gate as I'm able to, as I get clearance. When the, when the back wheels, the ones that are away from the camera, get onto the lift gate, I will then lower it down and then just roll it right in. Now the front of the tank is on the concrete, the back of the tank is on the lift gate. At this point, I need to secure it to the lift gate, lower the lift gate, then I can unhook it and just roll it off. That, my friends, is how it's done. I'm almost certain that I'll get a bunch of negative comments about the safety of what I just did. And I want you to know that at no time was I in any danger. At every step of the way, I took into account what is the worst possible thing that could happen. And if that thing did happen, I was in a place where I would not be injured. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'd love to hear your comments on this. Click up here to see my last video, click over here to see something of mine that YouTube thinks you'll like, and have a good one.